taken the decision to terminate our search um, and um, that decision has been difficult as you can imagine um, not least because there are a huge number of people both here in the UK uh, and in France who've been involved in this search over the last three days all of whom including myself had hoped for a positive outcome uh, but that's not been the case but more importantly because uh, I'm well aware that uh, uh, this will be very unwelcome news for the family and friends of uh, the two occupants of the missing aircraft. I would like uh, at this stage to pay thanks to all of those people who've been involved in, in what has been an incredible cooperative uh, search operation. Uh, that includes uh, our own Coast Guard personnel here in the Joint Control Centre uh, and in Guernsey and in Jersey, as well as, as the Coast Guard organisations in the UK, uh, at the National Maritime Operations Centre uh, and at uh, Dover Coast Guard. It also includes um, personnel from the volunteer services, from the RNLI, for, for, who man both the Guernsey and Alderney lifeboats, uh, the volunteers who uh, support and operate um, the uh, search aircraft um, which operates uh, Channel Island Air Search out of Guernsey, um, the members of the uh, Guernsey and UK police force, um, and uh, the French authorities uh, Crossmar in Joburg, uh, who are the search and rescue authority for the northern bit of France. Uh, we've also had participation from French Navy aircraft and from the civilian-owned uh, helicopter based in Brecu. Um, and last but not least, the members of the public who responded to our request uh, to report any objects or incidents which might be linked to this missing aircraft. First and foremost, uh, our thoughts are with the family and friends of David, David Ibbotson uh, and Emiliano Sala, uh, for whom this must be a very difficult time. Uh, I can't begin to uh, imagine how they must be feeling, but I do understand, uh, and I hope they will find some comfort uh, from the fact that we are not closing this incident. Although we are stopping searching, the incident remains open, and we are continuing with our broadcasts to ships and aircraft which are passing through the area uh, and asking them to report anything which may be linked to the missing aircraft. I, I have time for a few questions uh, and uh, I'd be happy Could to take ask, those now. With the knowledge you have of these waters, are you surprised that you found absolutely nothing so far? Uh, no, I'm not. Um, the, uh, the waters concerned uh, are uh, at flood tide at the moment uh, and spring tide. Uh, there are uh, up to 12 knots of currents running through these waters uh, and so our search area by the hour has been getting larger and larger. What do you think might have happened to that plane? Um, we can't really speculate uh, on that at the moment. It will be subject to an investigation by the Air Accident Investigation Branch from the UK. Uh, and all the air traffic control records uh, being gathered and will be sent to them. Have you spoken directly to the family yourself? Uh, I have spoken to the family of Mr. Ibbotson. Uh, I haven't had a chance to speak to the family of uh, Emiliano, Emiliano Sala, uh, but I've offered uh, to speak with them if that's what they want. Captain, when speaking to the family, were they accepting of your decision or their preference? Um, I haven't spoken to, since we took the decision to stop the search. Uh, that has been done by um, families liaison officers from the police forces in Cardiff uh, and Humberside. Uh, I understand that um, uh, Emiliano Salas' family are, are uh, not content with the decision to stop the search, and, and I fully understand that. Do you feel you've done as much as you possibly can? Absolutely. Uh, we've reviewed it very carefully following the, the, the same protocol that the UK Coast Guard would follow when taking such decisions. Uh, I'm absolutely confident that we could not have done any more. You mentioned the investigation. What else can you tell us about what happens next? Uh, as I say, the records will all be passed to the Air Accident Investigation Branch. 
um, and uh, they will determine uh, what the next steps are for them. Um, at, at the same time, it, it, it remains a missing persons uh, case uh, as far as Guernsey Police are concerned. We've heard the plane try to take off three times in France before taking off on the fourth time. Can you help us on that? Is that correct? There's no uh, speculation. We'll try and get to. I, I haven't investigated what happened to the plane before it uh, lost contact. My focus has been entirely on uh, saving lives at sea and trying to find the two men and recover them uh, whilst they were still alive. The fact that Mr. Sala was able to send a, a message using data uh, would suggest that he was within a, a cell tower area. Have you been able to look at those records to see whether that also ties in with the information you have from air traffic control? Uh, we have engaged with the um, telephone companies uh, and, and we understand that there were a number of data exchanges uh, up until the aircraft uh, was last in contact. And, and did they plot in the same areas? Has that helped you with your search? We haven't been able to get any positional information from, uh, from those intercepts at all. So there's no triangulation of, the, of no. those points? You said it's still a missing... Um, th they have to be until they are found. We heard also the plane may have been turning back to France. Can you help us on that? It wasn't uh, going north. Either. No, again, um, the, the records from the air traffic control uh, authorities in Jersey who are dealing with the plane will be analysed um, by the uh, air accident investigation branch and they'll be able to uh, determine what it's doing. No, it's very dependent on the circumstances in the individual case, and no two are the same. Captain, also, um, I know that you said you're not aware of what happened to the plane, but from the recordings, you now know it is on uh, WhatsApp. Is there anything that you can determine from that, any engine noise or anything that might indicate? It's possible. I know that uh, Air Accident Investigation Branch are capable of forensically examining the recordings. They will also be looking very carefully at uh, the um, recordings from weather radar and from the primary and secondary um, air traffic control radars. Also, I've uh, been given indication from some people in authority that a uh, plane may have iced over by the by stuff, something like that, is that uh, something that you can explain before? Uh, we know that there was um, a, uh, a line of heavy weather in, the, in close proximity to where the aircraft was last in contact, so that is a possibility, uh, but it's very difficult to determine. Just geographically, we refer that there's a place called Herd's Deep, which is the sort of area where the plane was, was last known. Uh, that's that's, that's, that's right very close to the last known position of the aircraft. Herd Deep is over 100 metres in depth. Um, uh, and so uh, finding anything in that depth of water is going to be extremely difficult. But we can't say conclusively that that's where, if the plane is on the seabed, that that's where it is. Um, if there are no other questions, I'll, uh, uh, I'll carry on. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. So that's Captain David Parker, who's uh, Harbour Master on Guernsey, confirming that news in the last few moments, that rescue workers have called off their search for the missing plane carrying the footballer Emiliano Sala and uh, also the uh, pilot David Ebbotson. Uh, the chances that they had survived were extremely remote, said uh, Captain Barker. Uh, this aircraft has been missing since it disappeared from radar over the English Channel on Monday night. After scanning thousands of square miles and reviewing all the information available, he said the difficult decision to end the search had been taken.